Jesus Christ, is he gone? He's gone, finally. When take it, take it, take it, take it. This is the greatest moment of his life. The Jiggy Jaguar, the Jiggy Jaguar, the Jiggy Jaguar show. The Jiggy Jaguar, the Jiggy Jaguar, the Jiggy Jaguar show. The Jiggy Jaguar, the Jiggy Jaguar, the Jiggy Jaguar show. The Jiggy Jaguar, the Jiggy Jaguar, the Jiggy Jaguar show. Show. And you're watching freaking Jiggy Jag TV. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. So now I'm going to do this. I'm going to now say goodbye because we're going to get out of here. And I've got somebody standing behind the camera because I've overrun it. And now if I don't do that, I'm going to get in trouble. I know you come from Kansas, but there you go. This is Adrian Paul. Day, we invoke your name and ask for your blessing upon all gathered this morning and all who will travel to join with us here during these days. It's a state fair. I'm sorry, folks, I have to take the word consecutive out as a result of what happened a year and a half ago. We're going to start a new string of consecutive fairs today that we hope will last well into the 22nd century. Author William Allen White, the pride of Emporia. What said things start in Kansas that finish in history. Things started in Hutchinson more than a century ago that continue. The State Fair has a long history worth repeating. 100 years ago, a dozen cities competed for the opportunity to host the official Kansas State Fair. Hutchinson was one of them. One day, the state senator from Reno County, Emerson Carey, stood in front of the Kansas Senate and what they call the well, kind of the Senate in the center of the Senate chamber, and offered to provide approximately 300 acres of land on the north edge of the city to provide a fairground. It was an offer no one could refuse, and Hutchinson won by a near unanimous vote. Then, on April 23, 1913, Hutchinson passed a one-half set sales tax to provide seed money for the fair, raised $50,000, a nominal amount of money in 1913. The following morning, the Hutchinson News reported it was a great day for Kansas, and one day Hutchinson would never regret. No truer statement hath been spoken. On September 15, 1913, Governor George Hodges rode the train to Hutchinson to open the first official Kansas State Fair. As they say, the rest is history. Seven wars, two pandemics, and 9-11 had not deterred the State Fair. The State Fair always emerges stronger from every crisis and will do so again in 2021. Let the fair begin. Thank you very much. Good to be here with you. Are you good? glad to be here? To make things work, to be able to uh, afford some of the activities that go on at the Kansas State Fair, it takes sponsors. And one of our special <laughs> they're currently operating in about 16 Trust Arena. We're thoroughly excited about this opportunity. And when, he, when Ed Berger uh, came to us about the idea of, of doing this, uh, 
How are we all doing today? Are we ready for a 10 day fair that is gonna be wonderful, wonderful, wonderful? Do you all have uh, about a year and a half of pent up, want to get out of the house energy? Okay, so do we. We are so glad that you're here. We want to make this the biggest and best event that we've had. And we couldn't do it without you here. There's a few people that I want to say thank you to. First off is our board of directors. These, uh, these 13 individuals work tirelessly on the backside to make sure that everything that's going on here at the fair for uh, policies and procedures and making sure we're financially stable, that's our responsibility. I want to say thank you to Harmon. He's, that's, a, that's a tough act to follow. I didn't get any type of a, we are ready, so he took that. We're all good. Get to get there. You know, we embarrass them, you know, get them out there in the middle. Come on out, come on out. Say hello. All right, everybody say hello to them. Now, you may not know where the, why they're here, but today we're making a special presentation to Dr. Ed Berger and his wife, Carol. Uh, why? Well, uh, a couple of years ago, we, we lost our manager. Uh, we lost our interim general manager. COVID hit. We did not know whether we were going to survive. Um, we, we missed out last year on a five to six million dollar gross paycheck. Employees didn't know whether they were going to have a job. We didn't know if we were going to have a fair to manage. And we asked Ed to step in and help us. And in, the, in the interview, in the interview, Ed's like, well, I, I need to ask my wife. <laughs> I, I said, you better call her now. So, on behalf of the Kansas State Fair Board, we'd first like to make a presentation to his wife, Carol. Carol, thank you for lending him to us. And they say yes. They say behind every good man is a good woman. So Carol, thank you. And, and Ed, Ed navigated us through all this. I believe that we are on, at the point, some financial sound footing. Uh, we've kind of got uh, rejuvenated. Uh, we had 15 employees make it all the way through it with us. And, and again, we want to say thank you to the employees, but today is Ed's day. We want to give him a big round of applause and we have a plaque to present him to say thank you, Ed. Thank you, Harmon, and thank you, Fair Board. What a wonderful group to work with. The staff here is just absolutely amazing. We had some very dark days in October, November, December, and uh, they really hitched up the horses, and we, we made it through. It's all because of that. You know, if I was going to, if you were going to say all those nice words about me, I felt like I should have done the proper thing and died, but whatever. <laughs> Again, thank you, Fair Board. Thank you, everybody, for supporting the fair. A great Kansas institution. Carol, Ed, thank you. Thank you. I don't know about you, but I'm going to head over to the South Hutchinson Methodist Church to see how their noodles are doing this year. But in the meantime, Let's declare the 2021 Kansas State Fair open for business. Enjoy the fair. And these fine folks coming on the stage, the Mays Height from Mays High School, and they will entertain us through the noon hour. I